before I start advancing this system any further, there is something that I want to point out. Currently, or so far, I've been using a box collider as our trigger volume. Now, you don't have to use a box collider as your trigger volume. You can use any of these colliders, well, within reason. So you've probably got the box collider, the sphere collider, and the capture collider. Now, if you're using a mesh collider, you can, but I'm not going to cover it. So, let's just prove that point. So we have a box collider. Let's just change that to a sphere collider. I'm going to replace that component. So we now have a sphere collider. Remember, it's a trigger volume, so we've got to set it to trigger. Now, just bring the mesh to a sphere as well, so we can see what's going on. Okay. So even though the mesh has been scaled here, notice with the collider, I can't set the scale so it's squashed like that. If you get a sphere collider, you are going to get a whole sphere with just a radius. See like that? Okay, so just bear that in mind when using a sphere collider. If you come in from the top, you're going to be triggering that collider. Let's just move the pin out of there so I can so I can scale that so the graphic is showing the same as the collider. Okay? So as you saw there, I can scale this all day long, but it's not going to make any difference. That's just the graphic to show us where the trigger volume is. The important part is the collider. That's what's doing the work. And you see the collider it's represented by those green lines there. So let's just bring that back into scale. Okay, so that's using a sphere collider. Now it is set to trigger, so we can test that. So it has a ball rolling through. And there we have it. So you don't have to use a box collider, that's all I was getting at with this video. You might want to use a sphere collider, that way if you're coming in from an angle, you're always at the same distance to the object. Just bear in mind, if you come in from the top, you are going to trigger that much sooner because of the height of the sphere collider. Okay? It's absolutely your choice. The main setup is you have a collider that is set to trigger. And when you're scaling it, you can't scale it here. It's all about the sphere collider dimensions.